Assalamu alaikum. This is the second lecture in Writing One course. The second lecture is about getting started with your essay. So I've divided this lecture into three parts. The first part, which we're going to talk about today, is choose a topic and your first free writing. So when you choose your topic, uh, keep in mind that is it's the first and the most essential step in writing an essay since with, it will determine the content of your essay. And when you choose your topic, make sure to evaluate the potential it have and whether you have interest in or not, because later on, you're gonna find difficulty in writing about topic that you don't have any interest in. Make sure the topic that you choose is proper for the addressed length that you are writing. So when you are writing an essay for like, let's say 3000 words, uh, 500, uh, 500 words, uh, you need to choose a topic that is proper for that length of words. Try not to have two broad topics because it will be hard to talk about them in an interesting manner. It will have too many aspects, too many sides to talk about. And also try to avoid a too narrow topic because you might have difficulty in finding enough information about them. And at last, put into your consideration the purpose why you write the essay. So we said the purposes to writing an essay is three, to inform, to explain or to persuade. And for each purpose, we have a certain type of essay. Here I prepared some examples of a broad and narrow topics. We have a broad topics like leadership, cancer, health. Leadership is way too broad because leadership have too many aspects, have too many sides to talk about. So we don't know about what leadership. Is it a leadership in work, leadership in class? We don't know. We have cancer. We don't know which cancer we talk about. Is it the animal? Is it the disease? So it's not, uh, it's not obvious and it's way too broad. We have health. Health is such a broad subject to talk about. We have like mental health. We have uh, uh, physical health. We have uh, healthy manners. So much broad. Then we have uh, narrow topics. We have the burnout of pediatric nurses aged 30 to 40 in Tripoli. So first, our first thing we have pediatric nurses. Here we have specific uh, we have specified which uh, nurses. It's the pediatric. Also, we have aged from 30 to 40 and in Tripoli. It's way too specific and we cannot really talk about that much. Then we have the academic achievement of third grade in Libya private school. So first of all, we have third grade in Libya and private school. It's way too narrow and we cannot talk about. So I prepared some uh, equivalent or more suitable topics instead of this. So instead of leadership, we can say how does leadership impact the employee re re retention? Instead of cancer, we could say psychological effect on cancer patient. Instead of health, we can say, can a vegan diet be healthy? Instead of burnout of pediatric nurses aged 30 to 40 in Tripoli, we could say, burnout of nurses aged 30 to 40 in Tripoli. We omitted pediatric, and instead of Tripoli, we put on we put in Libya. And instead of uh, academic achievement of third grade in Libya private school, we said academic achievement of primary student in Libya. So instead of third grade, we put primary student. We omitted private school, and we put in Libya. So here we have uh, your first free writing. Free writing is a method to help you uh, to help you before you start writing. Because we as a human, we already have information stored in our subconscious, either from previous experience, from other sources like internet, uh, from books, 
from TV, we already have information that is sorted in our subconscious. So free writing uh, help us use this knowledge we have to help us in writing. So free writing doesn't really require that much. We have like three things to do. First of all, set an alarm or a timer for a specific time, like from 10 minutes to like for either 10 minutes or 30 minutes, no more. Why do we set an alarm? Because if you if you don't have a specific time range, you're going to stay free writing like for even a couple of, uh, of hours. And that's not the purpose of free writing. The purpose of free writing is to collect information that you already have. So after you set the alarm, sit down with your notebook or computer with no noise. You can like have a background music if you want. It's personal preferences. You're gonna write without stopping. You start, you write without stopping until the alarm stops. Here I prepared an example for first free writing about the topic going green is important. So from the topic, you understand uh, that we want to save the environment, uh, recycling, many things that is related to the environment. You're going to notice as you read that there are grammatical mistakes. There are some information that is not related to the topic, which is OK for the first free writing, because you're going to collect the information you already have about the, the topic. And it's okay, it's okay to have some random information. So after you finish your first free writing and you have time, you have time, don't read it now, wait for a day or even for a few hours, then go back and take a look at what you wrote. Ask yourself a couple of questions related to the topic, related to the reason why you are writing, either we said like to inform, to explain, or to persuade. So here I prepared some questions related to the example I have given you. The first one is, is there one idea that stand out? Yes, I keep mentioning doing something uh, to make things better. So yeah, you're gonna ask about, uh, you're gonna ask yourself, is there is an idea or um, points or main points that stand out in my free writing that I want to focus uh, on later on in my essay? So another question is, is there something I want to know more about? So typically, yes, there are some, after you finish your first free writing, you're gonna notice that you are may lack some information about the topic you chose so it's all right to ask uh, or look for extra information later on another question is does all that careful recycling actually do some good you're gonna ask, start asking yourself in a argumentative or in a critical way about your topic about the concern of your topic then where does it all go how is it what's back to use and how much different does it make so yeah you're going to continue on asking yourself question related to the topic related to the concern of your topic related to the purpose of your topic of your the essay so here i prepared some extra help notes when you don't have that much time to let your free writing rest so if you had already finished your free writing uh, and you don't have time to let it rest, look over what you wrote and see if you can put out or pull out three main points so you could develop later on in your essay. Or if, uh, or if you have an in-class essay and you are asked to do some free writing, before you start free writing, take a time and try to brainstorm and try to think about three main points you want to cover in your free writing that will later on you will try to develop in your essay so the time that you had taken will help you to put some uh, put some points that will direct your essay and give it direction so this is for the first part of uh, uh, the second lecture and we will meet in the second part with uh, research and taking note so I will put you uh, a brief assignment 
about, uh, with uh, some broad and some narrow topics. I want you to give me a suitable uh, equivalent for and I will give you some topics. I want you to choose one of them and do some free writing. Thank you and we shall meet in the second part.